Hello everyone! One of the largest databases offered by the Concordia Library is EBSCOhost. In this video, we will show you how to access EBSCO, search for an article, and download an article. To access our databases, click on Research Tools. Under Research Databases, click on Articles. This will lead you to a list of all the library databases. Click on the EBSCO link at the top. Here you can select which EBSCO databases you would like to search. To search just one of these databases, you can click directly on the title. However, you may find it helpful to search multiple databases at once. For example, if I am an education student, I would want to search all the education databases at the same time. I can do this by checking the checkbox next to each database. When you're done selecting the databases, scroll back to the top and click the yellow Continue button. This is EBSCO's basic search, meaning that it gives you one search box and a few limiters. There are additional options to limit your search here and also on the advanced search. You may want to use the full text limiter to ensure that your search results contain the full text of the article. The Scholarly Peer-Reviewed Journals limiter will limit your results to only peer-reviewed articles from scholarly publications. Let's do a sample search. You can see we have over 4,000 results. They are all full text articles and they are all published in scholarly journals. We can further narrow down these results using the options on the left hand side. For example, if I want to limit my articles to only those that have been published in the last 10 years, I can do that here. I can also limit these articles by subject term by clicking on the subject heading. If I click on the blue show more button, it will show me all the subjects represented by these articles. I can select the subjects that most interest me and hit update to see only those articles with those subject headings. We can always undo any of these limiters by clicking on the little blue X. And full text articles are available either from a link such as this or from the PDF which is attached directly to the record. If you click on the PDF it will load directly in your browser. You can also download the PDF by clicking on this button up here and you'll see more options on the right hand side where you can print, email, and cite the article. Thank you and please feel free to ask us any further questions you may have about using EBSCO.